We start here at 5 with new information on a deadly officer-involved shooting in Oklahoma City over the weekend. Two officers are now on routine leave. News 9 crime tracker Jennifer Pierce learned this wasn't the suspect's first run-in with police. Oklahoma City police identified the man who died as 21-year-old Sergio Groover. They say he was threatening officers and his family with a knife. Police say the terrified family members locked themselves in a car while they waited for officers Sunday afternoon. Police were called to a home near Southwest 25th and Blackwelder on a disturbance. Prior to officer's arrival, a armed man with a knife had already stabbed another person. That knife-wielding man was Sergio Groover. Police did not release the stabbing victim's name, but say he was treated and released from the hospital. Groover was in the front yard when police got there. When officers arrived, they made contact with that armed man who still had a knife. They gave him several commands uh, to drop the knife. That man refused those commands. One officer did deploy his taser twice, which was ineffective. Police say that's when Groover aggressively turned towards the officers. When the taser didn't work, two officers used deadly force on the armed suspect. The suspect was transported to a local hospital where he did not survive his injuries. According to court records, Groover has been convicted of domestic assault and gang-related charges. He was supposed to appear in court tomorrow for a gun charge. In southwest Oklahoma City, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.